Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, I start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, Our Shia are those who prefer what they favor, withhold what they find ugly, behave nicely, and provide the grand matter out of their desire for the mercy of the magnificent Allah the Almighty. Those are from, belong to, and accompany us wherever we are. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then mentioning some of the stories and events happened to him during his holy life, and then mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said by the Prophet of Islam in his right, and then ending up with his unmatchable, unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, we are still talking about fitna or sedition in Kufa. Our respected viewers, although Ibn Ausaja took Muqabil at his sword, he knew it was too unsafe for him to meet Muslim bin Aqil directly, so he insisted that Muqabil take allegiance through Ibn Ausaja first of all. After this, Ibn Ausaja said to visit him in a few days, and in the meantime, he would seek permission for him to meet directly with Muslim bin Aqil, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. Unfortunately, their love of the Shia and fervent desire to gather all the supporters of Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam under the banner of truth allowed the spy Muqabil to not only gain a meeting with Muslim bin Aqil, but to become a regular visitor in the home of Hani bin Urwa alayhi salam as well. The 3,000 dirhams Ibn Ziyad had given him to assist in his mission was accepted by Ibn Aqil's men and spent on acquiring weapons in order to fight the enemy. However, respected viewers, during all of these meetings in the household of Hani bin Arwa to plan for an instruction, Muqabil was not only present for many but was reporting back on all of the activities of Ibn Muqabil and the Shia of Imam al Hussein, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, to Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, Allah's curses be upon him. So far, at some point during this time period, Hani bin Urwa alayhi salam became increasingly anxious and finally stopped attending the gatherings ordered by Ibn Ziyad. His absence noticed by Ibn Ziyad, who knew that it was the home of Hani bin Urwa, which formed a base of seditious organizing. When, however, he inquired about the status of Hani bin Urwa and the reason for his absence, he was informed that he had taken ill. Suspicious, however, Ubaidullah gathered a number of individuals, including a relative of Hani bin Urwa, and asked them about the matter so far. They, too, said that it was rumored that Hani was ill, but Ibn Ziyad knew better from the information being provided by his spy in there. He said to them, I hear that he is doing better and spends in his time sitting by the door of his home. Go and tell him that he should not abandon his obligations towards me, for I hate that one of the Arab nobles like him should treat me so poorly like that. Our respected viewers, when they arrived at his home, meaning Hani bin Urwa, they found him as Ubaidullah had described him so far, sitting by his door. They chastised him for failing to attend the new governor's gatherings, placed Hani upon a mule, and took him to Ibn Ziyad. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of the Grandfather Al Hussein bin Ali, alayhi salam, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.